Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 130 of Java for Tester series. That is two string method of string buffer class. String buffer class in Java. String buffer class in Java has a predefined method known as two string. Two string is one of the predefined methods of this string buffer class in Java. So, what is the purpose of two string, guys? The purpose of this two string method here is to convert an object from string buffer class type to string type, string class type. This is the purpose, guys. The purpose of this two string method of the string buffer class in Java is to convert an object from the string buffer class type to string class type. Let me show you practically guys how this can be done. We have to first create a variable and declare that variable with a string buffer class type. String buffer a is equal to new string buffer. Here an object will be created for the string buffer class and in that object memory, okay, this string literal text will be stored, right? Now, if I want to convert, okay, if I want to convert this object from string buffer to the string type, I have to say a dot to string, a dot to string. When I say a dot to string, the object of the string buffer class type will be converted from the string buffer type to the string type. Yes, it is returning you the string, okay? You are converting string buffer to string. Now, string b is equal to, okay, b is equal to, if I print B guys, it will print this Arun Motori text. Okay. Right click run as Java application. You see Arun Motori text got printed. But this B is now referring to the object of which class type? String class type. Okay. Earlier, earlier the object was created for string buffer and this particular string literal text was there in that object of the string buffer class. Now, after using this A dot to string, this object of the string buffer class got converted into the string class type. And we have stored that object into the variable b, object reference b. So this object reference b is referring to the string class object. Okay. So this is how, guys, we have to use two string method of string buffer class to convert an object of string buffer class type to the string class type. So that's it, guys. In the next video session, I'll explain wrapper classes and primitive data types. What are the different wrapper classes and uh, primitive data types? I'll be explaining in the next video session guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye